in this video we are going to discuss a problem related to jet transform so here to solve this problem i will give you two ways you can choose your simple way in this two ways so here the problem is find the jet transform of x of n is equal to 1 by 5 whole power n into u of n minus u of n minus 5 this is the problem given so for this we need to find out jet transform i will give you two ways to calculate this you can choose your own way so here x of n i am writing like this so first method is x of n is equal to i am just separating these two so i am multiplying this 1 by 5 whole power n to inside so that is equal to 1 by 5 whole power n into u of n minus 1 by 5 whole power n into u of n minus 5 so consider jet transform on both sides jet transform of x of n is equal to jet transform of 1 by 5 whole power n u of n minus jet transform of 1 by 5 whole power n u of n minus 5 like the i written so here you know that this is in the form of a power n into u of n form jet transform of a power n into u of n you know that that is equal to z by z minus a so here in place of here i am having 1 by 5 so the z transform is z by z minus 1 by 5 so here also i am having the same form but with some shift so we can apply time shifting property but if you observe we are having shifting for u of n minus 5 but not for this 1 by 5 whole power n so this for, for this a we are not having any shifting for example if this is x of n x of n is equal to a power n into u of n x of n minus k must be a power n minus k u of n minus k but at a power i am not having that shifting so i am creating that shifting to apply time shifting property so z transform of so i want like this 1 by 5 whole power n minus 5 u of n minus 5 i want like this but I am not having this 1 by 5 whole power minus 5 here. So that is why I am writing 1 by 5 whole power plus 5. You can see if I multiply these two the resultant is so 1 by 5 whole power n only. So now here I am writing like this. This is x of z. So z transform of x of n is equal to x of z. So z by z minus 1 by 5 minus so this is a constant right 1 by 5 is nothing but 0.2 whole power 5 remaining you need to find out the z transform 1 by 5 whole power n minus 5 u of n minus 5 so we are having time shifting property in our hand if x of n transform is x of z then x of n minus k is having z transform z power minus m into x of z you can refer time shifting property according to time sh shifting property i can write like this so minus 0 0.2 whole power 5 the z transform of this shifted signal i can write like this z power minus m minus m means shifting so z power minus 5 into x of z means whatever x of n form is there that means 1 by 5 whole power n u of n so this will be x of z so z by z minus 1 by 5 so z power minus m into x of z if x of n is 1 by 5 whole power n u of n so this is n not square so if x of n is 1 by 5 whole power n u of n then x of n minus 1 5 will be 1 by 5 whole power n minus 5 u of n minus 5. If I consider the z transform of this z power minus 5 into z by z minus 1 by 5 I will get. So now here this is equal to so I am writing like this. So z into z power minus 5 z power minus 4. So z minus 0 0.2 whole power 5 into z power minus 4 divided by so common denominator z minus 1 by 5 so now i am taking this z power minus 4 as z power 1 by z power 4 so if i consider 1 by z power 4 i can cross multiply like this z power 5 
minus 0.2 whole power 5 divided by z power 4 into z minus 1 by 5. So, this will be the z transform of your signal 1 by 5 whole power n u of n minus u of n minus 5. What you just used is a time shifting property. You use a time shifting property here to get this answer. We are having another method also. So, I am going to solve in second method same problem I want to solve in second method. So, here the second way is here I want to consider x of z formula directly z transform of x of n equivalent to x of z is equivalent to we are having formula n is equivalent to minus infinity to infinity x of n into z power minus n this is z transform formula general formula to calculate z transform of any signal. So, in place of this signal I am substituting my signal that means n equivalent to minus infinity to infinity 1 by 5 whole power n u of n minus u of n minus 5 into z power minus n. As I told you when you saw unit step function in summation or integration it is going to change the limits of that particular summation or integration. So, how it is going to change the limits? You know u of n signal, u of n signal starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so on. That means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on. So, it starts from 0 and ends at infinity. Like this, this is u of n. And u of n minus 5, I want to draw. What is u of n minus 5? Shifted version of, right shifted version of this unit step function. So, to which time it is going, it is shifted means at 5, it is when to shift it. So, here the shifted unit step will be like this. So, 5 onwards it is having 5, 7, 8 onwards it is having impulses. So, here if you consider u of n minus u of n minus 5, here I am not having anything. So, up to 4 I am not having anything 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 I am not having anything. If I consider general subtraction, so here the amplitude is 1, here also the amplitude is 1. If sample is there, sample amplitude is equivalent to 1 in unit step. So, 1 minus 0, you are getting 1. 1 minus 0, you are getting 1. So, here I am taking that, here I am taking that u of n minus u of n minus y. So, here at 0 that is equivalent to 1, at 1 that is equivalent to 1, at 2 that is equivalent to 1, at 2, at 3 I will get sample, at 4 I will get sample, 5 onward samples are going to cancel. From 5 to infinity this is also having sample with same amplitude and this is also having uh, sample with same amplitude. Those samples are going to cancel. So, now how many samples are having is we are having samples from 0 to 4. Our signal is a limited period signal now. So, u of n u of minus u of n minus 5 is a finite duration discrete signal. These two are infinite duration discrete time signals. So, by limiting that signals by subtracting we got finite duration signal. So, how this u of n minus u of n minus 5 is going to change this limit says summation n equivalent to 0 to 4. Why? Because our, our resultant signal is having values from 0 to 4 only. So, otherwise 0 to 4 this signal is having value. In all other cases this value is equivalent to 0. 0 into anything it will be 0. That is why I am taking only in this region 0 to 4 1 by 5 whole power n into z power minus n. So, this I am considering like summation n equivalent to 0 to 4 1 by 5 z inverse whole power n like this I am considering. The simple formula for this is 1 minus 1 by 5 z inverse whole power n plus 1 n plus 1 means here 4 plus 1. So, maximum limit is 4. So, 4 plus 1 I need to consider here. So, divided by 1 minus 1 by 5 z inverse like this I can write. 
For example, if you are having summation n equivalent to 0 to 4, 1 by 5 or a power n if you are having, then you will write 1 minus a power n plus 1, maximum n value plus 1 divided by 1 minus a, like this we can write, this is one form. So, if you written like this, you are going to get 1 minus 1 by 5 whole power 5, that means 0 0.2 whole power 5 into z power minus 5 divided by 1 minus 1 by 5 z inverse. So, if this z by z power minus 5, if you uh, if you are sending to denominator, what will become? So, z power, z power 5 minus 0 0.2 whole power 5 divided by z power 4 into, so here I am writing like this, z minus 1 by 5, like this I am writing, isn't it? So, if this z power 5 came down, I am writing like this, z power 4 into z, z power 5 minus z power 5 into z inverse. So, that is why I can write z power 4. So, same thing we are going to get here. We are having two ways. If you are having this formula in your mind, you can go in this way. Otherwise, you are having general formulas for z transform. You, for a power n, u of n, you know z transform. By applying time shifting property, you are getting z transform for this u of n minus 1 n minus 5 signal. So, in either way you can follow to solve this problem but you will get the same solution.